everything set up here. So make sure those of you that are on the call, on the phone lines, that you do have your phones on mute. And if you catch this on Facebook and you do not see the live button in the corner, that means that you are catching me on the replay. And I would like to welcome you in. We are going into Psalms chapter 23. Let me finish up the last. Let me get this put on the trim page right quick. Psalms chapter 23. Psalms chapter 23. Okay, come on. Psalms 23, let's go. Let's share it to the trim page. Alright, so um, those of you that are on Facebook feel the need to go ahead and share the live this morning. Be a blessing to someone. Let's get it shared in another little group right here so they'll be able to join in with us this morning. Let's see. Yeah, I got everything right here. Alright. I tell y'all what is so favorable and such a blessing. There is um there is a young lady that has a a um a group. It's a prayer group. I mean well it's, it's technically it's not a prayer group, it's um it's a public group that has a lot of different followers in it. And it's amazing when the Lord blesses you where people trust you. Because she literally made me one of the um um, moderators or so on her page to be able to put my content in her page. Now, that's huge, you know, whether y'all would um, think so or not. That means that she feels as though she can trust what I say that it's going to be safe and the content is going to be well. So, that is a huge blessing. So, all I have to do is just um, share my stuff on her page and I give major shout out Mia Pittman uh, George, I give a major shout out to her. She's an awesome, awesome, awesome woman and also an awesome woman of God. Major shout out to her. So she's given me and afforded me to be able to do that, you know, to be able to share on her page without having to, um, you know, go behind me, watch me, all that type stuff. That That's an honor. That is an honor. Psalms chapter 23 this morning, which is very familiar scripture. I'm going to take it in a... In a um, in a different light this morning, if I can, I say a different light, but it may be, may not be a different light, but I'm going to remind us of something this morning that the Lord placed in my spirit. So every Tuesday morning as we come together, we come together with prayer and we come together with a focused thought. Now this focused thought is something that we're governed from, from week to week. So from today until next Tuesday, that is going to be one of the thoughts that I convey over to the Lord every every day in prayer time and talking to him is reminding him of that that which he has given us and we have based our prayers off of that so the focus thought this morning that the lord would give to me is a place of safety a place of safety is what the lord would say to me this morning a place of safety now i'm not sure about y'all but if the way the world is now we need a place of safety there there you know it's just so much going on you don't know now what is happening you don't know what neighborhood is safe um what city is safe what area is safe the city of dothan has been in my prayers now for um the past several weeks in a a consistent manner because of the things that are going on you got so much happening you don't know what's going on in people's heads you don't know exactly what they're thinking when i go into public places like walmarts and and all i have to be honest and tell y'all that i do find myself praying lord please don't let anybody come in here with a wrong mentality you know of of wanting to come in and do a mass shooting and all that type stuff so i find myself saying these things unto the lord so therefore we need a place of safety there has to be a place of safety there has to be be somewhere 
that we can go, you know, and all. And I do get the fact that we are we have the right to bear arms and all and that type of stuff. I am a one one that bears arms. We have the right to be able to do that. But I'm talking about another place of safety, a uh, you know, a different type of safety, not where you're having to protect yourself, but there is a place a, of safety, you know, where there is someone else that takes good care of you, a place of safety. It is that place there that I want to strike up for us this morning, that place that I want to bring to our thoughts this morning and, and to reiterate to us and to let us know because a lot of times because we get so used to taking care of ourselves that we literally forget the fact that God is the one that takes care of us. We become so, so you know, just so adamant about, I got to see about me. Ain't nobody else to see about me. If I don't take care of me, ain't nobody else going to take care of me. I got to take care of number uno, number uno. And we get so caught up into that that we forget that there is a safe place that God provides. And, and then the Lord can no longer be who he needs to be for us because we are in this place ourselves. We are, are protecting ourselves. We are literally watching over or, or think we're watching over ourselves and think that we are keeping ourselves. We we think that the nine millimeter is what's keeping us. We we literally, you know, begin to think those things, but there is safety. There is a prayer that I pray about myself and the property as to where I am here. I often find myself saying to the Lord, Father, please blind the eyes of those that would desire to come by and to cause any harm. Hide this place from those, Lord, that would come by and literally think wrong or want to do wrong. See, that is that is a safety. See, I won't have to use the nine if that that right there protects me. I won't have to uh, bear arms and harm someone or protect myself from being physically harmed if that prayer is the prayer that protects me and all. So I say, Lord, Father, I thank you that as they pass by, blind the minds or, or keep them from even noticing that this place is over here, God. Let them keep going right on by. See, you know, it is that right there that causes a place of, of safety and protection. And so I want to this morning bring us back to a place or a position of God being that 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 of safety for us. And so Psalms chapter 23, let me give the definition of a couple of words this morning as I get ready to go into this this morning. I woke up with cramps and all this morning, but I'm going to push my way right on through here. Watch this. A place of safety is our focus thought this morning. Now, a place. I looked up to see exactly how a place. What in reference uh, is this talking about? A place it is. A person's rank or status. That's the definition we want to use for this. A person's rank our status, where you know what exactly is their their title, what that that their place, their their rank, or their status, or their station. That you know the the word status. Part of that is out of the word station, which is their their position. So is well, your rank, your your rank or your status is uh, the place of of safety, and safety is protection from danger, risk, or in or, or injury. That is what we're we're going at this morning. So it is your 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 position or your posture against injury. That's what that's what I want to talk about this morning. So Psalms twenty three says this: The Lord is my shepherd. Uh, uh, first of all, I gotta know that, and then and when the Lord is my shepherd, He then goes to say, I shall not want. Uh, so my position, you know, my status, uh, because of that position or that status, I I'm now in a position of not wanting anything because not because of my position but because of his position and and the fact of him being who he is I now don't have to want so the Lord is uh, my shepherd see when God is who he needs to be in your life then uh, all of these other things are literally minute because God takes care of everything he's the God where it says in Psalms 24 I believe that the earth is the Lord's and 
and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein. So then that means that the Lord is in charge of everything. The Lord is uh, uh, the ruler of everything. He is the Alpha and the Omega and all in between. He is uh, uh, the El Shaddai. He is the one that is the creator or the origin of everything. So the Lord is my shepherd, Psalms 23, 1 says. So that means I shall not want. It says he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. This is a place of safety. When I'm in green pastures, I can lie down. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Listen, check this out. There is a lot of confusion when we're not in green pastures. Uh, Not being in green pastures means that I'm trying to figure this thing out myself. God help me this morning. It means that I am literally trying to cause things to happen for myself. I'm literally in a place of lack. And now how is it that I could be or find myself in a place of lack when verse 1 clearly said that the Lord is my shepherd that I shall not want. So then if I'm in a place of lack, can I tell you this morning that that means the Lord is not the shepherd. Uh, Because if the Lord is the shepherd and that means I shall not want, uh, then that means that I'm not going into a place of lack. And so if you find yourself in a place of deficiency, God help me, if you find yourself in a position of being without, uh, uh, that means you need to check your shepherd because it just so happened you may be your own shepherd. Uh, it just so happened you may be uh, you're doing your own thing. You may be, you may think you're the root cause or you may think your job is uh, the reason why you have what you have and the job is not enough. Why? Because you are literally in a position of your appetite being more than what your job can provide. Mm. Okay, so then it says in verse 2, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. This is a place of safety now. It is a place of safety. Uh, verse 3 says, he restored my soul. It's a place of safety. I messed around and was out there in the midst of some stuff. Found myself away from where the peaceful shore of where I needed to be. Uh, but Psalms 23, David is saying, I got myself back on track. I got myself where I needed to be. I positioned myself right where I needed to be. I was no longer on the outside of the gate, but I was now in a place of where I was following God as I needed to and allowing him to be who he needed to be. I'm trying to tell y'all this morning about a place of safety, a place of safety. He says, look, I look, he says he restored, which means that my soul was literally vexed on the inside of me, that I was literally going through some things. I was literally in uh, some challenging dark situations, but he restored my soul, okay? So that means right there that I was in a mess. Lord, help me, please. I I just need to catch a couple people this morning to tell you that it does not matter, baby, that you found yourself in a mess. Uh, What matters is is that the Lord becomes your shepherd. That's what matters. Uh, uh, What matters is is that you allow him to restore your soul. Uh, It don't matter where you are. I know you messed up. I know you tore up from the floor. I know that situations are not looking good for you. I know that circumstances are bleak for you. I get it, baby. I know. uh, I know the relationship is horrible. Yeah, I get it. I know you've been through a bad breakup. I get it. Yeah. I know that you feel like everywhere you turn and everybody you've turned to ain't been about nothing and all they've done is hurt you. I get it, sweetheart. But the psalm says he restored my soul. So it just means I got to get in a place of safety so that can happen for me. My nine millimeter does not give me a place of safety. No, 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 no. The alcohol bottle does not give me a place of safety. Uh, the crack can does not give me a place of safety. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh, being in them pills does not give me a place of safety. God help me. Uh, but the Lord is my shepherd and that's what puts me in a place of being where I shall not want. That's what puts me in a realm of safety is when the Lord, God help me this morning, is my shepherd. When the Lord is uh, the one that keeps me, then I shall not want. Uh, It says he restored my soul. I'm trying to tell you, if you're in a fix this morning, he'll restore your soul, sweetheart. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. God help me. Look at that. Uh, David said, I was tore up from the floor, but the man done got me now. And now he's leading me in the path of righteousness. God help me, please. Uh, 
He's now leading me in the way. Lord, help me this morning as the way I should go. He's now leading me in the path of righteousness. God, help me. I need to talk to somebody this morning and encourage somebody this morning that ain't got it all together. Lord, have mercy. I'm giving you the antidote to getting it together right there. If the Lord will become your shepherd, one, you're not going to want. Uh, and number two, he will make you to lie down in green pastures. Uh, uh, number three, he's going to lead you beside some still waters. Uh, number